Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rackham Shelf Kit for Enclosed Trailers, part number RA-13. As you can see, it's a sturdy steel construction. It's got a hand hammered finish on it. It's going to be very resistant to scratching and abrasion. Also good corrosion resistance. The cross supports you see here, they've got a, a coating on those as well. It's going to help to resist any corrosion. Uses a simple E-Track style connection. Really easy to operate, really e easy to transition from one thing into another. Very adaptable. Our kit's going to provide us with four hanging rails and provide us with eight support brackets, giving us all the hardware that we need to complete two full shelves. You will need to provide your own hardware and lumber to get it installed. As you can see, our shelf kit's nice and durable. It's designed to hold up to about 500 pounds. One of the greatest features about this shelving system is that underneath we're going to have completely unobstructed access. So we don't have to have big support boards that are going to come down. We're not going to have anything obstructing the clearance underneath. Now that we've gone over the features, let's take just a minute to figure out how this gets installed. As you can see, there's a nice hook on the back side of it here. That's designed to go right over the top lip on most enclosed trailers. We've got one of the more flat top style trailers here that doesn't have that good support up here. So a solution that we've come up with is we've just beveled the back side of a two by six here. You'll notice that when we put that on, that's gonna go right back and really grabs onto the back side of that for us. Now we'll just center it up with the supports that we plan on using. We wanna have the same distance between them on both sides so our shelves are gonna be nice and, and flush. Now that we've got our spot picked out, we'll start by anchoring it. The nice thing is these are all pre-drilled all the way up and down, so we're gonna have plenty of options as to where and what we can mount this to. Now that we've got our side supports installed, let's go ahead and get our cross supports installed. Basically, it just works with an E-Track style cup where we're gonna pull that in, slide that in and up, push the bottom in, and then we'll kind of wiggle it back down until that lever goes back in, indicating to us that this is nice and secure. Now, we'll wanna keep our shelves on the same level. As you can see, we can move these up and down the length of the track giving us full adjustability of our shelving. All right, with our two in place, we can now grab our cross boards, slide it down into our supports. And then as you can see, we've got a couple of holes to secure it in place. You see that's now nice and secure. We'll just secure the other side as well. Now with our first one installed, we'll bring our second support in. Now keep in mind the wood you'll need is sold separately. And as you can pick the size of boards that you're gonna need. You can also pick the thickness of your top so you can customize it to the exact weight that you're gonna need to support. We'll just secure it exactly the same way we did the end board one here. Now with that in place, we can bring in whatever we've decided to use for our top. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. It's just gonna go right into the top and we're just gonna secure it into our supports. As you can see, once we've got that secured, it really sturdies everything up. We're not gonna have a lot of that movement or that wiggle that we experienced initially with our boards kind of rocking in and out. Nice, solid, secure platform. This is gonna give us all the support we need to get our job done. 
A lot of guys like to separate these out to about four foot. Use a nice big thick piece of plywood and actually make a bed out of it. Or as we see up here in the front on a V-nose trailer, actually able to build a shelving system in there that's gonna work perfectly to get a lot of gear stored up out of the way and not really taking up a lot of our usable space of the trailer. Just like that, we've got our shelf nice and secure. Now, I've seen some people put a small strip of uh, maybe quarter inch by quarter inch wood along each edge. It's gonna help prevent things from rolling off or coming off. You can figure out your own solution, but that is one thing that we've seen that works pretty well. That's gonna complete today's look at the Rackham Shelf Kit for enclosed trailers, part number RA-13.